Hello, my name is Jared Christensen. I'm a product support specialist for EpiRock. Today we are going to go over a basic startup and pre-shift inspection on an MT42 battery electric mine truck. On our pre-shift -pre inspection, we are gonna to want to do a visual inspection of the pins for the tailgate, as well as the dump bed. We're gonna to wanna to check our backup lights, our backup camera, as well as our tail lights and our strobe light. On the battery powered MT42, we are going to want to verify that we have adequate hydraulic oil level. We can do this using the sight glasses that are provided in the oil tank. On the pre-shift inspection, we need to verify that all of the emergency stop buttons are functional. After completing a proper pre-shift inspection, this machine can be started up in order to do that. We need to close the battery isolation switch. Now that the machine battery isolation switch and the main battery isolation switch are turned on, we can enter the cab and start up the RCS. So now that we are in the cab of the mine truck, the MT42, we can start the RCS, the rig control system. So here on the operator panel, we are going to get the flashing green to white indicator light on the battery connection status. Once this is actually connected, we will have a solid green indication and we will show current power consumption as well as available power. So now we show that our current power consumption is at seven kilowatts. We have 500 kilowatts of usable power as well as regenerative power available. So now that we have our RCS system booted up and we have a connection to our high voltage bus from the battery to the machine, we can start our hydraulic system up. We get indication that our auxiliary motor is running with this indicator here on the display. We also show an increased power consumption due to the load of the hydraulic pump. This machine is now ready to operate like any diesel powered MT42. For more information on a pre-shift inspection for a battery powered MT42, consult your operator's manual or contact your local Epiroc dealer or service center.